Hi, welcome to Peyton Zoo. My name's Jo and I'm about to take you on a mini discovery. Peyton Zoo is a great place to get outdoors and explore the natural world. I'm here to help you do that with a few simple activities you can do at home or even on your next visit to the zoo. And along the way we'll learn more about our fantastic animals and plants. So today we are in our crocodile swamp exhibit to explore the wonderful world of fossils. So we're going to be finding out what is a fossil, we're going to be meeting some living fossils and then for our activity today we'll be back in the classroom and we're going to have a go at making some salt dough fossils for you to have a play with at home. So let's start today with what is a fossil. So a fossil is the physical remains of the hard bits of an animal like the shells or the skeleton that are really, really old. So some fossils are around 600 million years old. Now, fossils are formed when an animal dies and it falls down, usually underwater, to the bottom and lots of layers of earth start falling on top of it. And over many, many years, the more and more layers fall on, it gets squashed and eventually it turns into rock. And so when you break those rocks open, you can see what remains of the animals. Now if you visit some of the beaches around Payton Zoo and look in the rocks there, you might well find a fossil. Now without fossils, we wouldn't know about dinosaurs, we wouldn't know that there was a horse that was as small as a dog, and we wouldn't know that there was a sloth that was as big as, as a car. So fossils are a really great way of us learning about the past animals that lived on the earth. Now we have animals living here at Peyton Zoo that are what are called living fossils as they haven't changed for millions of years. The croc swamps is a great place to find some of those. So let's head further in and see who we can find today. So this is our Komodo dragon Khaleesi. Now Khaleesi's only eight years old but there are fossils of Komodo dragons that have been found that are around four million years old and they originally came from Australia and they lived alongside a lizard that was five metres long, so that's as long as a minibus. Khaleesi here is just over two metres, but they can grow to about three metres, so they're really big lizards. Now our crocodiles are even older, so crocodiles have looked the same for around 200 million years. So fossils have been found all over the world, even in places like Germany or Portugal, so that means crocodiles will have lived fairly close to where we live now. So being that old, that means that they were around at the same time as dinosaurs. So talking of dinosaurs, there is one bird that lives here at Peyton Zoo that is often called the dinosaur bird because it has some really similar features to dinosaurs, like some crazy long claws on their feet and a big pointy bit on top of their head. Any ideas who I'm talking about? It is our cassowaries. So next time you visit Peyton Zoo, make sure you go up and see our cassowaries as that's the closest thing you're going to see to a living dinosaur. Right, let's go and head down into our classroom and have a go at making our own fossils. So our activity today is making dinosaur fossils out of salt dough. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need salt, you're going to need flour, you're going to need boiling water, so make sure you've got an adult around, and you're going to need some dinosaur toys, so I've got a range of sizes here. Really simple to do, I'm just going to move that water out of the way for the moment. What you want to do is you need double the amount of flour to salt, so I've got one cup of flour and I've got half a cup of salt. So give that a quick mix in the bowl, and then you want to slowly add the water because you don't want the dough to be too sticky. So this is where you're going to need your adult. You're going to want about half a cup of water. So let's pour there. Let's try that to start with. And give it a good mix until the dough starts to form. I'm going to get my hand in now. So once it's all mixed, 
you'll end up with a nice ball of dough that you can use with. If it does go too sticky, don't worry, just add a little bit of extra flour and mix that in and it'll all start to soften up and not be too sticky to use. Okay, I'm going to move this hot water out of the way so it's nice and safe and move that bowl. Now the fun begins, now you can make your fossils. Now I'm going to use a bit of plastic sheet on my table here to make sure that it doesn't stick to the table. You can just use little bits of flour if you want to, um, it's just to stop it sticking. Now just break bits of your dough off and shape it into whatever you fancy. So I'm going to make sort of splatty round ones. And very simply, take your dinosaur toy, press it in, when you pull it out, you've got the shape of your dinosaur. Once you've made them all, you just need to leave them to dry for a few hours, ideally overnight, and then set your oven on the lowest setting it can be, put them in there for about three hours, and that will dry them out completely. And once you've finished that, you can decorate them if you want to, so you could paint them with some acrylic paint, or if you're gonna play with them outside, then it's best to put a coat of PVA glue onto them just to seal them all up. So there you have it, some simple activity to have a go at. Now these are great explorer toys, so you could pretend to be an explorer hunting out new fossils. Why don't you bury them in your sandpit, if you've got a sandpit at home, and see if you can uncover them all and find all of your fossils and pretend to be a paleontologist, that's someone who studies dinosaurs. Now don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our videos so you don't miss a single one. Our next mini discovery in a couple of weeks time is going to be on enrichment, so I will see you then.